the thing, you know, there's a certain zen-like quality about being around plants. Um, and it's a real symbiotic thing, you know, I give them CO2, they give me oxygen. Uh, and so, you know, basically I'm working in this big hyperbaric chamber. Um, I'm around a bunch of things that need me, yet they're not, you know, um, demanding. It's not like I'm, I've got herds of puppies around me or anything. Anybody that comes in that I give a tour to freaks out and loves it. Uh, and uh, we have a collection of a lot of different plant families in here so that undergraduate biology labs can come in and look at flower structure and leaf structure and figure out why, you know, one plant's in this family and not in that family. Plants live here. Um, I'm their caretaker. We keep them happy so they can grind them up and torture them. <laughs>you know six seven years old I'd go out to the garden with my grandmother and uh, plant tomatoes and beans and whatnot and um, my mom the same uh, both of them were into gardening and so I always loved being outside I loved uh, watching a seed grow up and turn into a big plant that produced fruit and vegetables and whatnot uh, so every time I plant one of those I think of my grandmother she passed away about 10 years ago but um, I, every seed I plant has a little bit of her love in there so I really do love being around plants and I think they help uh, create a better vibe or a better spirit around people. So when people are around plants, I think it makes them happier. I think it gives them uh, a sense of satisfaction, a connection to the earth. But plants are always number one up here. We have over um, $30 million in plant grant research happening. This greenhouse is unique in the fact that we're allowed to do research on agricultural crops, whereas in most greenhouses that's not an option. What I find most interesting here is that this is an old greenhouse that we do an ex a lot of good things in. Uh, for example, we're doing biofuel research with algae, uh, with panicle uh, switchgrass. Uh, we are doing great things with cotton and corn. You would never think that in the heart of Austin, Texas, you're actually doing agricultural research that could potentially help solve some of the world's uh, fuel and hunger issues. Uh, it wasn't something I expected when I came here. Um, I just thought it would be a little greenhouse and we'd grow some plants and do some research, but it's amazing uh, the depth and the amount of research that we do that can literally have a, a positive effect on the